morning. I didn't realize it was going to be so uh, shady here. Should have found a slightly different spot. But I, really, I really like the view down here, so I thought that that works out for the better anyway, so we'll go with that. We're shooting down the opposite way from yesterday. This is the opposite end of Main Street. Yesterday we were way down at the fountain. Can't even see it from here. Oh, if you squint. But, um, yeah. That was a very noisy location. So, uh, this one's slightly quieter. If I show. And, uh, goodness gracious, I don't know what I look like. I've, you know, just about gone around the whole way around my walk. Done all my running and, um, all that stuff, and I really thought, well, it's not, it's a, a mixed, cloudy, sunny day, so you never know what's going on. And of course, it's downtown, down there, and uh, it's noisy, but not as noisy as a big fountain. So uh, we'll go with that. As long as this you know, railing holds up. Well, okay, what I wanted to talk about today was uh, what you didn't really hear about yesterday. <laughs> My relatives in Quebec are using a uh, diet supplement. I think it's called Isogenics with an X at the end. You can look it up. It's a diet supplement. That's a scam. Uh, you pay a whole lot of money for these nicely packaged pouches, which you pour into a glass of water, and shake up, and drink. And it's a, a meal replacement, I believe it is. And then you weight. And I haven't said anything to my sister or anybody really about this stuff because they have access to the internet just like I do. They have common sense just like I do. talk about with people. What you believe about food is at the core of your being, you know? It's what you were raised with. It's what you truly believe in. I don't know. Over the years, every time I talked with my sister or emailed or something, it was, oh yeah, so-and-so's got a cold and so-and-so's off for a month and so-and-so's you know, got the flu, and so-and-so's got this, and there was never a, a time where everyone was healthy. And whenever we went to visit, I had to adjust what I ate. I had to adjust what I was getting fed, because even though I'm fairly, you know, I can just about anything. But there were some things, just whatever. So, and every time they would see me and my family, nobody on our side would be sick. No time when I ever sent emails or made phone calls did I ever say that our part of the family was sick in any way. And yet, every time someone on their side was ill in some way. But, you know, that just doesn't register. I've never had a day off work from uh, illness. Never. Never used any of my sick days. I haven't had the flu or a cold in over 15 years. It's 
just uh, so should I say something to my sister or not or should I just keep my mouth shut and let them find out for themselves having their money frittered away by these little packets of powder when they be, could be going to the grocery store and eating the stuff fresh in smaller quantities with a better result? Or should I just let them lose their weight? And really, they are losing weight because, you know, when you work out the bucks, you're pretty much obligated to get the result out of it. So, but it really hurts. Because, you know, they're not rich either. And, you know, and, you know Quebec. Quebec doesn't help. Quebec is a place where, you know, you get poutine. No, they don't eat poutine every day. But, you know, they have that core diet of the Québécois. It's just, you know, ingrained in them to eat. When, when my sister was here a couple of years ago, I took her to a vegetarian restaurant. And she was looking for the meat on the menu. Is there no meat? <laughs> I don't know, maybe now if I took her to that same restaurant, she might be okay with it. But it's not that I'm a vegetarian either. I'm a carnivore. Hey, I love my meat. But... <laughs> Whatever. There's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing I can do. Like I said, it's, it's that food thing, and food is at the core of your being, you know? Food is what you are. Gorgeous day today. Clouds, blue sky, dark clouds, white clouds, it's gorgeous. 20 degrees. It's, it's cool. I'm not hot right now, but, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, la vie and all that stuff. Oh, let's get the plastic off there. Let's look around here. Down goes the volume of things. <laughs> so as you can see, Main Street. Maybe the fountain's in view somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's over where I live. That area over there. And look down here. That's where I walk. And over there. Over there through the trees is where I work. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where I work. And here we have the the Gore Cupola. Used to be on the uh, the Gore Building. We and then when they for some reason they took it down and they put it here in this park. It's been here ever since. Ah, gorgeous day. Have a good one, folks. Have a really good one.